Mel, you have been consistent with a quarterback at the top of your board since I believe October, and that is Pitt's Kenny Pickett. What do you make of what he has to prove this week in Mobile? Yeah, I think Kenny, uh, obviously a great year. Phenomenal year for Mark Whipple uh, down there, who was a coordinator and the quarterback coach. Now he's at Nebraska. But really, the ankle injury he sustained last year, moving through the end of the season, really impacted him negatively. He really couldn't plant and throw accurately and with the kind of velocity he wanted. Didn't have the running skills and the maneuverability and the overall mobility that he needed to extend plays. Not a running threat, but he can extend and he can keep the chains moving with his legs. But the poise, the confidence he showed this year, knowing he was 100%, having Jordan Addison really step up as a go-to number one receiver in that offense really helped him as well. But throwing off platform, throwing with guys bearing down right in his face and throwing accurately really impressed me. The toughness that he showed uh, and the leadership he showed as the season went along. I think to see a kid to be healthy and know that, hey, I can do what I need to do. I understand Mark Whipple's offense. Mark Whipple is a great coordinator, great quarterback coach, done wonders in the NFL and in collegiate ranks with quarterbacks. And the job he did developing Kenny Pickett this year, I mean, he goes from a guy that probably would have been, what, a, a day three guy had he come out last year to a guy that's solidly now in that first round discussion. Todd mentioned the hand size, the hand span. I don't think Michael Vicks was tied at nine. I think he was below nine, but we can go back. Tony Romo had success in the NFL. Obviously, Michael Vick was active a quarterback, so there have been quarterbacks in that vicinity. I've talked to people in the league, and they don't seem that concerned about it. Maybe some do, but the ones I talked to didn't. But that will be much discussed. Uh, as will he be 24-year-old rookie coming in, as will he have with 50 starts under his belt. So there's going to be a lot to, to really weigh in the evaluation process with Kenny Pickett. I think he could be a Derek Carr type. Some think more of an Andy Dalton. Some think a Colt McCoy. Everybody's kind of all over the place there. But if you want to be positive on the evaluation and you like Kenny Pickett, I think Derek Carr would be the good comp. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.